no filming in the store. Okay guys, we're back with another video. We're in San Antonio today and we're gonna be doing some bins thrifting. Let's go. All right, if y'all don't know what the bins are, you basically, it's a Goodwill and they funnel everything into this outlet and then you pay it for everything by the pound. So nothing here has a price on it. So it's really awesome. You can find some great stuff for really cheap. Uh, you usually don't get one. Just get like a, like that basket. Just get that and you can fill it up. Or like this. Can anybody tell me who this is? All right, I've actually been wanting one of these. The magnetic suction cups, sick. Usually a siding of something we related means that there was an actual we in here at one time. There's a 50-50 chance there was actual we in here, but I don't see one. So everybody has a different strategy in the bins, and I usually oh look, just found Thor. Uh, in my strategy, I usually start at one end and then make my way across, uh, and then go to the back and then back along the edge. But whenever there's a new rotation, like right now, you can tell that people are lining up and uh, that means that there's a new rotation. So you wanna gravitate towards those because you have a higher chance of finding something. Basically, people haven't dug, sorry for being so close to my mouth, but basically you haven't dug through a, 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 a bin yet, so it's the best chance to find something no filming here someone actually ratted, ratted me out though like he was, I think he was an employee there but he wasn't wearing a vest or anything but he like pointed out to her like hey like that guy and uh, she came up to me and told me that I couldn't film so that's the end of that but hey I'll show you what I got all right we came to eat at Ida Claire in San Antonio uh, to get away from the madness of the San Antonio bins. As you all saw in the last clip, uh, I was told to stop filming and it was kind of a, a buzzkill, but not for that reason, but because of how it happened. I saw uh, another customer there, not an employee, uh, signal to one of the employees um, that I was uh, filming. And basically it pointed me out and I was kind of like hmm and then she came up to me and told me that I couldn't film there so I was like okay but it was just the way that it kind of happened I mean like me why is this random person it's like calling me out basically and I I, I, I kind of went up to him after the fact that uh that she told me that I couldn't record so I saw him again and I went up to him and I asked him, I was like, 
do you work here? And he just told me that no. And uh, I was like, oh, okay. And then I was walking away and he said, why? And I basically told him, I was like, uh, well, cause I kind of saw you like signaling to the worker. And he was like, yeah, I told her. I was like, okay, like, it's kind of weird that you're telling her, an employee, that none of them even were, like, uh, bothered by me. Like, nobody was except this one guy. And it was just kind of unsettling for me. So whenever I confronted him about it, he said that, yes, he did tell her. And it just, I, I kind of didn't want to be there anymore. But, you know things happen and it's it's just whatever but he was kind of looking at us like the whole time like after that and it was just a little unsettling so um the san antonio bins is very hectic and the people that are there kind of the employees too like i just i'm not a big fan they have a lot of good stuff this is that's a positive but the fact that uh, just the way that they treat their customers and the customers how they treat other customers I guess that's why they won't want people filming there because they don't want to show the bad side of Goodwill because I'll tell you what that was a bad side of the Goodwill that I've experienced it's the worst experience I've had at any Goodwill and I filmed a video there before like a year and a half ago no problem no issues except today so that's why I'm kind of just unloading this drama on y'all because just crazy stuff that just happens at the bins, but whatever. At least nobody got in a fight and that guy didn't want to fight me or something, but he did tell me, I, I, I told him like, well, you should just let them tell me, you know, like not intervene and act like you work there. And I could have been a little petty and gone to the worker and told her like because you, you're supposed to wear gloves in this bins um and he was wearing gloves but his fingers were cut off so i was like what is that half a glove i could have been petty and gone up to the employee and said this guy is wearing cut off gloves so that way he would either have to buy a pair of gloves or uh, leave so as at least they didn't tell me to leave because i was filming but you know, I, I, it was just a bad experience. But anyways, we'll catch up back with y'all um, and show y'all what we got. Besides all that drama, I declare it was really good. Great service. The food was good. I got the chicken and waffles. Gina had cheese. burger, double cheeseburger with pimento cheese, and then I ordered macaroni and cheese, and then it was too much cheese. <laughs> so just too much cheese. I was like. I'll just take the burger back and I'll eat it later and finish the macaroni and the waiter was super nice and he said oh I can get you a fresh one to go without pimento because it had cheese in between the patties too you like squeezed it and all it this pimento just came out too much pimento. I mean if you love pimento it's great it's, it was cheesy it was... I ate it pimento it tasted good yeah but uh it's just too much cheese for me and then he gave me fresh macaroni too it was very good so yeah. uh two thumbs up uh five stars I declare yes awesome all right guys we made it back to the room we got a nice little patio out here it's pretty cool with a nice view of the river in downtown San Antonio so yeah Let's go ahead and uh, get into what we got from the bins. All right, this is a little San Antonio bins haul. I got this awesome Goosebumps tin, some cartoons, classic cartoons. You know, got journals, some banners. I wanted this suction cup mount for a while, and finally found one. We got a purse here, a scarf. A Rubik's Cube, some kind of reader for the computer for the SD card, a Chromecast, and let's see what's in here. It's got a button, some little toys here or there, 
whatever these things are called this is the guy from street fighter i think and this big old portfolio for art which is really cool i've been needing another one and last but not least we got a banner can y'all guess what it is boom one piece or at least i'm pretty sure it is and then in this bag y'all are gonna have to watch the next video to see what's in this bag next video we're going to Gigi's emporium and to hopscotch y'all be sure and check that video out it's gonna be right over here somewhere or over there maybe no yeah it'll be there all right later Pizza dudes got 30 seconds. Mm -hmm.